Greetings, my people. It's Mr. PDT yet again on another episode of the Enlightenment series. In my previous video, I made mention of this statement. Prophet Jeremiah Omoto for fame, as he calls himself, he's going to go mad. Right now, he's going mental. Jeremiah Omoto for fame is losing his mind. He literally lost his mind a few months ago. Not just a few months ago, maybe three years ago. But it was just not as obvious as it has become now. I told you that he is the one who bent his own building. And some people said, no, there's no way he can be. Jeremiah Omoto did it. And recently, in a live broadcast that he did, he confessed that he is the one who burnt his own building. Oh, don't expect him to come out openly and say, I burnt my building. But the spirit of baby testimony is very magical. It's very intelligent. It will confuse you in such a way that you say things that you don't intend to say. You make confessions when you do not want to make certain confessions. I want you to pay attention to what he said. I know people would think it was just a mistake or a coincidence. It wasn't. The spirit after Jeremiah Omoto for fame will not give him rest until he tells us the exact location of where baby testimony is. Until he comes out in the public and apologizes to Sister Ruth Matthew. If Jeremiah Omoto does not do that, my people, his end, his disgrace, is going to be tenfold the disgrace of T.B. Joshua. I know the, the lovers, the followers of Joshua are already saying, no, 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 you're crossing the line. There's no line to cross here, my people. Just know this. Oh, prophets, we thought you were actually standing for the truth. Let the spirit of the dead rest. There shall be no rest for the wicked. And for your own information, T.B. Joshua is not dead. He's very much alive. Wherever he is hiding... He's going to come out and he's going to be disgraced more than he was disgraced when he faked his own death. My people, just get this clear and just get this you know, straightforward. I'm not here to please people. I'm not here to make you people like me. I'm just doing the work of my father. I don't want to be in anyone's good books. I just want to be in the good books of my father. I'm not here for followers, likes, or whatever traction or traffic that you think I'm here for. No, I'm not. If I was here for that, I would definitely leave specific charlatans that you don't want me to talk about. And just talk about the ones that you want me to talk about. The standard of this truth is the truth. So those who like me will keep liking me for this truth. And I'm not going to sugarcoat anything. And I'm not going to pretend or avoid specific, sensitive, dead GOs because they mean so much to you or because you believe that they are from God. For what shall it profit me? What shall it profit Mr. PDT to gain the whole world or the love of the whole world and lose his own soul? If God approves of what I'm doing, then I'm content. When I'm done with the work of my father, <laughs> then I can go home and rest and I'll be proud. That I did what I had to do. I had made my own contribution to the body of Christ, to the church of God. In the new generations, generations yet unborn, will be the beneficiaries of this enlightenment series. Some of you who have been corrupted to the core might not get to understand the importance of what we are doing today. But one day is one day. Your children will be very proud of me. The topic is not about the charlatan Joshua that is hiding. Let's talk about Jeremiah Omoto for fame. In a recent live video that he did, he confessed without knowing that he confessed. I want you to listen to what he said. Check it out. <laughs> All because I am building now. The Lord said, build my house first. Build my house first. But Jeremiah did not hear yeah? So I was thinking that I was it's okay. That the partner's house that I I did this in the, I, I uh, in fact uh, I'm sorry my, my followers. I'm very happy today and uh, 
I'm very, very happy today that God has done this. The the partner's house that I I I I I I um I am sorry, my followers. <laughs> the partner's house that you want. <laughs> The partner's house that I, I, this in, uh, I, I, uh, in fact, uh, sorry, my, my followers. Papa J, I told you earlier, release baby testimony. Apologize to Sister Ruth Matthew. You said the partner's house that you what? The, the partner's house that I, I, this in, uh, I, I, uh, in fact, uh, sorry, my, my followers. There is no hiding place for you, my brother. And I don't know which Lord told you <laughs> to burn your, your partner's house. If you pay attention, my people, if you can pay attention to detail as much as I pay attention to detail, what did Jeremiah want to say there? The partner's house that I what? That I burnt. He said it without saying it. And he even went on to apologize that I'm sorry, my followers, <laughs> for what I did. He does not even know he said it. He's not even aware that he said it, but he did. That's how Omoto is being tormented by the spirit of baby testimony. The confessions are yet to come. This is not the first confession that he has made. Last year, he made a confession that what if this missing baby comes out? What will you do? Prophecy, prophecy, prophecy. I don't, I don't, I don't, I say, I don't prophesy like that anyhow. Once I say prophecy, 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 I hear from God. Now, if, if this baby comes out, <laughs> what will you do? What will you do? Eh? I will rededicate myself to God. You rededicate? I will rededicate myself. What about you? If this baby... He did not know he was confessing, but he, he did. And three days later, he came back and he even acted like he forgot that he said it. And he denied it unequivocally. That I never said it. I only spoke about the confusion. Omoto Fofen is in a state of confusion right now. He is in a state of madness. Mental instability. There's no one that can help him. Combine all the Sangomas in Nigeria. They can't help him. But baby testimony can. All he has to do is to release the boy. And he'll be scot free. If he doesn't release baby testimony and apologize to all the brutality that he has imposed on Sister Ruth Matthew, Omoto will never have peace. So many people are crying because of Omoto. Sister Comfort is watching over Omoto and she is crying tears of blood. Sister Comfort was Jeremiah Omoto's concubine. She gave birth to Jeremiah Omoto's son and she passed in the process. She passed away. She couldn't make it. She lived the entire nine months of carrying Jeremiah Omoto's baby in pain, being harassed, tormented by Jeremiah Omoto for fame. Their tears will never go to waste. And these are not the only victims of Jeremiah Omoto for fame. There are plenty of young girls out there that are crying tears of blood. That have been on the receiving end of Jeremiah Omoto's brutality. His madness is just around the corner. But God is just preserving him so that before he loses his mind, he releases baby testimony. Papa Jay, you said you what? The, the partner's house that I, I, this, uh, I, I uh, in fact, uh, uh, sorry, my, my followers, I'm very happy today. Okay, my people, you can, deduce, you can deduce whatever you want to deduce from what Omoto for Fame said. But from my standpoint, this is the spirit of baby testimony. And like I told you before, he burnt that building. First, to take money from people to extort, blackmail his followers and suspecting partners to contribute towards the new building that he says he wants to build. And third, to claim that the CCTV footage's backup storage has been destroyed. Therefore, there's nothing to show. 
there is no any information to present that happened in 2019 on the 15th of April. That's a motto for fame for you. But there's no way out of this, like I said. I'll check you out on the next episode of the Inlatima series. This is Mr. PDT. I'm out. <laughs>